So, the Panthers tried out the um, <clears throat> Andy Dalton filter on some of their players. And it is something that you would... You'd be missing a lot not to see this. Say it like that. You can see why Paul is there in a second, because, um... <laughs> bro, ain't no way. Ain't no way you did that, bro. Okay. That's a interesting look. Um. <clears throat> See, I feel like you really need to have... If you're going to channel the Red Rifle's energy, I feel like you need to also add in the mustache and the goatee type scenario. Not goatee, but you need to kind of put in the whole thing, the beard as well. Because if you add the beard in, it all blends together. Like, the point of why it looks so good is because you got the hair... And you got the beard, and you got the mustache. You got to have all three. If you don't have all three, you're missing out completely. That just looks so odd. It really does. Like, again, you know, it's one of those things where it's like, one look might look really good on someone. It's not going to look good on everybody. Definitely will not. The Red Rifle's hair is, um... Not something that can be replicated. Oh, that's just wrong. He is definitely the, um... What would you say? He is the, uh... What's that? The evil person in, like, every old... Like, funny, kind of humorous, funny movies or whatever. He's the evil villain in most funny old movies. I don't know. He just feels like an even uh, evil villain. Like... You know, like in a Disney movie or something. Or like a Nickelodeon movie. He's like that evil villain who, you know, probably is going to end up blowing up the moon. Or something like that. Ugh. It gets, it gets even funnier. Lordy. Yeah, the red rifle effect definitely changes some things. And then they put it on him. The cute little baby. Like, bro. You can't give him the hair? You don't understand, bro, the amount of power behind the Red Rifle's hair. That is not something that the baby can go ahead and fathom. <clears throat> yeah. So that's the thing. Not what I expected to see on my timeline today, but... It's something that I think we all needed to kind of just adjust to and realize that this is what we're going with Sunday, guys. We got to get our first win of the season. And I don't know if we're going to be able to with all this beautiful hair that is being um, extinguished in front of us here. Overall-wise, I was also kind of curious about their injury report, but apparently they don't have their injury report on here for some reason. I really thought they were going to have, like, their injury report on, um, their Twitter. I guess we'll, like, we're not the only team, but not every team puts their injury report on their Twitter, which I find so weird. Like, bro, I feel like that should be a go-to thing so that people don't have to, like, go on the website. But let's take a look at their injury report. Why not? So, Jordan Fuller, he's on IR. Adam Thielen recently was put on IR as well. Um, Damian Lewis is questionable for our game. Uh, does say return estimate is Sunday. Deontay Johnson is also questionable. Should return Sunday as well against us. Shy Tuttle, Tootle, Tuttle, probably butchered it. Apologize, Panthers fans. Um, uh, he is questionable for the upcoming game. Jonathan Brooks is out for the upcoming game. Nick Scott. Remember Nick Scott? He is, um, was limited participant in practice Wednesday. Uh, he is supposed to come back and be ready to go for our game. We'll see if he is healthy. Wow. Okay, I forgot how many injuries they actually have. Um, IR, Derek Brown, one of the best D tackles in the league. Ian Thomas, out. Jaden, out. Sam Franklin. I know a lot of these guys are out little while like this has been this is not new information that these guys are out um but 
Dane Jackson, Barno, Anthony Brown, so on and so on and so on. They have a lot of injuries. No wonder they're going through heck and back. Other than obviously quarterback situation is kind of finicky with Bryce Young. It's also the freaking injuries. Like, bruh. Feel, I do feel bad for the Panthers. I really do. But outside of our win this week, listen, Panthers. Outside of our week, win this week, you know, we're going to beat you guys. And then I hope you guys are going to run. I really do. I would love to see the Panthers go on the run after we beat them. Just literally went out. I would love to see that. Definitely rooting for you guys. Other than this week, Panthers fans, I'm definitely rooting for you guys to be successful. Hopefully you guys figure this whole situation out. Again, like I said, you know, sometimes when we go into games, I have like, oh, I, I want to beat this team out and really care about this team. Panthers, I, I just want to see them successful. I really do. I just want to see them succeed. So I hope that they get things figured out after this week. Um, again, like I said, sorry, Panthers, but we got to get our first win. We really do. We got to get this thing figured out for us. But for you guys, hopefully you guys go on a run after this. And as you guys say, keep pounding. Keep pounding. Um, tell me down below your thoughts and opinions. I'll see you guys in the next one.